Another spirit trap added to the list. Spirit trap added. Pavilion here on this mountain. Rather adapt by style. Huh? I wonder where we'll find that golden trap. You can do what we did last time, you know, and we'll sit where you depth will enter the mural and the, and the trap turned out to be hiding. Look, Limo. It's full stone trap statues here. And there might be old giant trops hiding inside. Doesn't make sense. Pretty smart with them now. Well, is the adaptable entry reacting in any way? Not at all. But there seems to be something missing inside. Huh. Make me wear that little blue light. Ah, uh, Limo over here. It looks like there's an orb inside some of these top statues. Then we find some statues of cops and a large pearl on our way down the mountain. But those are actually used for something. Worth a try. Good job, little Mel. <laughs> well, let's give it a drill then. Collect the spirit orb. Solidify! There is no escape! Ha! Torn to oblivion! Gameplay tutorial. Jade cast chip. Use the adept to energy granted by Fujin's or filling move to Jade Hairpin. That's behind. Uh, move the Jade Hairpin to insert it to the right place. Okay, well, how it goes. Place directly the sacred hair, uh, sacred spring gunch gushing from the Jade Hairpin will punch the spirit orb on the stone drop statue and reactivate it. So I have to put it right over there. Oh, spirit hole. Okay, so I know that works now. This is uh, supposed to be something that I done earlier, but we do it right. Please move the waterfall above me away so that I may be returned. I 
Barco. Good. Now balance has been restored to both sides of the stone platform. Oh, the statue spirits all should have been activated now, right? Come on, let's start collecting it. Yes, sure. I right behind you. Take them. I have no need. The rever reverberation. Wow. Who's that? This one. Here. Yeah, that's right. This is the base. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. There is a reward. Mix. Go. Hup. Wow, the last right there. At the end. Since we have all three orbs, let's put them there. Now. 
There we go. My apologies for the poor hospitality. It's been a long time since I last enjoyed tea with others. Uh, hopefully my brewing skills have not deteriorated too much over time. But one... D I mean, I have some experience in appreciating tea. It was also thanks to this that I was able to tell that this year's tea brings me off. It was how I discovered the trouble with the soil and water quality. Hmm. Didn't think the offering rights would be so useful. <laughs> I suppose now I can tell those who fail to appreciate the value of tea about the value of confidence. Tell them all, have some tea. Uh, not sure why, but it reminds me of Madame Payne's... Yeah, that was that time in Leeway Harbor when we fixed Madame Payne's teapot for her. <laughs> if you think about it, it would seem to have a wired connection with tea. Madame Payne? Ah, I think I know of whom you speak. We were acquainted back in the day along with her friends. As Little Mouse said, I was once just a giant cop, able to leave fresh water for too long. I'll leave and live in the salty water. As such, they sent me one of the uh, teapots. It was how my friends would have been able to take me inside my teapot, of course, to the Grilly Plains and Lake Harbor, meet those lovely people they spoke of. Unfortunately, such a time never quite came. Come on, Paimon, you've been to Leeway Harbor. Can you tell me more about the city? I'd like to hear about it too. I've never been. Well, Paimon would like to start from, from one main restaurant. How about, I, how about I handle the explanations this time, Paimon? Yeah, but don't you dare strip off any of the eating bit. Come on, Paimon. Uh, it is a port city, city built in against the mountain. You didn't only for Fujin to interrupt you. Notice that she liked to hear your Leeway story. Understand and begin again. We arrived in Leeway Harbor. Prime and I were just in time for the rite of dissension. Child and adeptus, before you listen to your words and Paimon's incessant interjections, by leaning forward as you speak, exclaiming, short and relaxing as the detail rises and falls. They also add their own commentary and questions about Liyue, the food and flavors available at restaurants, boys, the old lady sells, gems and jewelry of a three-year slope, such. As you watch, Fujin, Little Mao, and Paimon are moved by the tale. Along this journey, we met many friends. Met many friends. And experienced so many things. It was all worth it. Sea monster, huh? Amazing. Leeway Harbor is not what I imagined. You find it disappointing? Well, no. It's different. Being different doesn't make it bad. I like the Leeway Harbor you described. Good to hear that after all this time, one our dear herb lord is able to find a home there. I think that's simply wonderful. Herb lord. What about you, little Mao? Can you tell me about you and your friend? I'm curious to know what she's like. Um, sure. I mean, Paimon and Limo have met her already, so it wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you. This is how we met. At that time, I was still a little kid who didn't know it. Out the mountains. It was nighttime and some wild beasts were following me through the forest. Super scary. Finally, I was chased to a clearing and surrounded by those beasties. For a moment, I was convinced I was going to be get eaten. But suddenly, they all backed off into the woods. They were gone. When I looked back, there she was at me. She was like Jade, but there was a dignity to her. Even then, that she was the master of the mountain that my grandparents had told me about. I wasn't scared. I just told her. I finally found you. I've been looking for you for so long. I don't know why, but she lowered her head and thought before walking off. She made no noise as she did so. I listened as hard as I could, but there were no sounds of anything stepping on branches or fallen leaves. 
that, I would sometimes catch sight of her in between trees and the flesh. Sometimes the rising moonlight would outline her shadow as she stood atop the high mountain. At that time, I thought it was strange. Why hadn't I seen her before? She was always there, after all. I wanted to talk to her, but always turn and leave. It was only later that she would willing to talk to me. Later on, she would take me up very high mountains into very deep forests. She asked me a lot of questions and in exchange told me lots of stories. In the beginning, uh, Xiaoying village was in the barren mountain. The rivers had a real temper. Sometimes it flood, and other times they would all but wither. On that barren mountain, we two friends, fish, snake. But later, the snake was cut into the fish sank into the sea. Then only blue was left. Thank you, Tomao. Also, um, don't tell anyone about my friend, alright? Of course we won't. I'm quite familiar with this friend of little mouse, Virgin. Indeed. Uh, that was all in my past life. Many, many years I, I have passed since I could no longer move freely. I suspect that I might not recognize her any longer. Though, from Little Mouse's words, she might not have changed too much. Past life? Perhaps that is not the most accurate way to phrase it. I did not utterly perish, but I did lose my original form. My strength and wisdom dissipated along the spirit veins. This is also why I invited you in the multi cops rest. If you were not there, I would not even have a form to show you or a voice with which to speak to you. This thanks to you that I have been able to slowly regain my previous strength. I mean here and once more seeing these scenes with my own eyes. Then all friends from the past and more importantly making new friends. Very life. How did you die though? My memories of that have grown foggy. Your lord and I were both servants of another god. It was I that organized the range aid right, administering the rivers and mountains to our lord. As for the other, was as she is, beast, wild and free. In those peaceful days, I also climbed waterfalls to Mount Alson, Mount Lao. There I met with the Daptai, powers and wisdom, for a far eclipse of mine. Of course, that was all before the war. Our lord was not a heinous being by any means. Once upon a time, I made many dreams come true. If there was any evil, it was the art on war itself. What happened next needs no further explanation on the bottom shore. We talked about how you and Herb Lord defected. <laughs> That's right. That might have been the bravest thing we've ever done. Our Lord had all but gone mad seeking the position of a god who may rule this world, perhaps seeking survival. Either way, he lacked the power to overcome Morax. So, final desperate gamble. Caused the Bishwi River to flood, hoping to destroy everything downstream. Of course, she knew that what that would mean for Shinya Valen's people. Whoa, but uh, Paimon thinks that, that that's something you should never, ever do, period. Perhaps that's just what war does to people. Either way, that was our final adventure as a trio of friends. Lin Ryan attacked people with her familiars. Burning them to the shelter we had prepared. Her lord fought against our mistress, while I climbed Mount Linman and hurled the water brainjade range aid to the rising waters. Of course, that wasn't a proper range aid, right? Simply the release of the adaptive energy stored within the jade pendant to have the earth open its maw and swallow the rivers, and allowed the jade now to grow and stabilize the flow. But what happened next? <laughs> Didn't Little Mel tell you how it, well, uh, how it all ended? Yeah. Right. Wait. Really? When? Alright, that's enough about the past. We should get back to performing the rite itself. True, but what about the golden top? Isn't that what we were looking for? In truth, we've already found it. As with the previous one. That's how I was able to appear before you. Just that I missed the scenery here a bit too much. I couldn't help but have a long chat with you all. After all, but since I'm in mine, not the same. 
You won't travel long just once your objectives are complete, will you? Such I apologize. Please forgive my capriciousness. Alright, what are you what were you saying? Oh, so you were inside the teapot? that we had for today regarding uh, Zolt Swani, so Louis called her um maybe Chan Chan the, the snake white snake with Baizu with Dr. Baizu maybe uh, she's a fragment of what the real Eptis as Manthus wine tastes the same as I remember, but where are those who share the Just memory? guessing at this point. But yeah, that'll be all for me, guys. Uh, thank you all for tuning in today for the video. Um, um for the video of Genshin in fact. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said before, see it again. If you like the content, put your thoughts in the Center trumpet section down below and um right the channel like all that jazz yeah uh, that will be all for me dudes uh, i'll see you all next video you guys <laughs>